Sandora, Dungeon Master's old ally. Hmm. So Dungeon Master has sent his young pupils to free Sandora and return her to this world. We shall see to it that they fail. I don't get it. There's no jungle on this map anywhere. Well, there's a jungle here. Ah! I, I think you already found a way out of the jungle. Look! It's Skull Mountain. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I thought you said we had to walk a whole day. Yeah, we've only been walking a few hours. Who cares? You want to drag this thing another 20 miles or what? Look, the shadow of the skull is moving. We don't have much time. Okay, open it. <sighs> I don't see anyone down there. Uh, hello? Zandora? I guess we better go down and check. Well, well, you know, in case that's a bad guess, I'll stay topside with Presto and keep a lookout. This is scary. No! <laughs> They'll be all right, won't they? Sure, it's probably just a sewer. <laughs> I think I heard something. Hello? Down here. There's nothing here but a dumb clock. Did you hear that? They're in trouble. Now, 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 don't jump to conclusions, Presto. They're, they're probably just checking out the echo. Check it out. I'll wait up here. Alone. Hank? Sheila? <laughs> they must have fallen into those holes. Uh, I, I think we better get help. Eric, we are the help. <laughs> no, wait! Don't close that!
those puny hornets didn't have me worried for a second. No! I don't get it. According to the map, this is exactly where Dungeon Master told us to open the box. He must have been wrong. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Can't you ever knock before entering? We put the box right where you told us, Dungeon Master. Yeah, right under the shadow of that giant skull? Giant delusion, you mean. Benja tricked us. <laughs> Look, if you just tell us how to get out of this crazy world, you save us all a lot of time and trouble. <gasps> He's gone. Come on, you guys. Let's get moving. <laughs> What is it now? The young ones. They escaped. Fool. With Zendora free, Dungeon Master will have even more power. We must move swiftly. I'm telling you, I can't go on. My feet hurt, my hands hurt. And my ears hurt from all your complaining, Eric. Just for one day. Phew. I'm not afraid. I'll open it. I told you it was a mistake. <laughs> oh, thank you, young ones, for setting me free. Dungeon Master sends his greetings. I should have known Dungeon Master would not forget me. Now that you're free, we were hoping you could help us get home to 